Tehran accused of kidnapping his own son. Tonight, there is an international manhunt going on as we speak. Where is 10-year-old Jean-Paul Lacombe? His mother fears they could be anywhere in the globe. Jean-Paul's dad allegedly tricked a court into granting him custody, presenting documents in Spanish as proof of custody. We're going to show you those documents. Here they are. The court couldn't read them because they were in Spanish, so the court allegedly said, okay, good, you know, we're going to grant you an order to take temporary custody of your son. Cops even helped hand over the boy, snatching him off his school bus, kicking and screaming. There is the child right there. We have the videotape. Listen as this poor little boy frantically screams, he's not my dad. <laughs> We're not going to let him do anything to you. How terrifying. And get this, Jean-Paul's mom claims the document that her ex showed the court was actually a warrant from Mexico for his arrest. The boy's mom, Bernice Diaz, is living a recurring nightmare. This is the second time this has happened. Almost five years ago, this guy whisked his son off from Mexico to France. Jean-Paul's mom had to fight for two long years to get him back from France. She believes her son is in extreme danger as we speak right now tonight and says he doesn't have his medication, medicine that he needs for emotional problems that stem from the last time his dad took him away. Bernice refuses to give up hope. Paul, keep hope. I'm getting the help we need to get close. And I send you a lot of love, so we are getting closer every day that is coming so don't cry anymore be strong you're always being strong and you know pray to god that uh, this is going to be sooner i love you wow straight out to my fantastic panel and also joining us yami virgin reporter with hln affiliate ka B, B, I got to tell you, Yami, this story makes my blood boil. I mean, the police, the court system, it's all supposed to protect us, not facilitate a kidnapping. It's almost unbelievable, Yami. It is unbelievable, and for two months, this is what I've been hearing. A mother crying, attorneys telling me that paperwork, you have to follow the trail. And I can tell you this much, as a mother... Those screams right there yesterday that I heard made me believe that we were right all along, especially when you called the Mexican courts and you asked them point blank, you asked them point blank, who has custody of the child? Does the mother have custody of the child or does the father? And they tell you, mom still has custody. When immigration in Mexico puts out paperwork alerting for anyone that sees John Paul six, seven weeks ago, to grab him because his father doesn't have custody, that's the end it. of the story for me right there. That's right there what's telling me. The Mexican court said this is what's right. American courts have to follow it. As the police took this little boy off the bus, he begged them, don't make me go with him. He also screamed that his father hits him. Listen to this. Uh, that is so hard to hear. You know, Janie Weintraub, if a child is screaming, um, my dad hits me, my dad hits me, isn't there an obligation on the part of law enforcement to immediately call Child Protective Services? Absolutely. Instead, what law enforcement did is they said, here, kid, go with the guy who you're saying hits you without asking any questions, without making as much as a phone call on behalf of this child. Absolutely, Jane. I mean, anybody who was there on the scene, you don't have to have specific training to hear the panic in that boy's voice and to see the fear in his eyes. 
why didn't that cop put the brakes on and just say, I don't care if I have a court order, hold on. Why didn't he listen to the mother? Why didn't he get a DA on the phone? Why didn't he call a supervisor? Why didn't he look at something himself before he handed that, that child who is so fearing his, his, the consequences and so scared over? Now, here's Marvel. my big issue tonight. Common sense, people. That's my big issue. Common sense. Yeah, I'm with you, Jane. Okay, shouldn't a judge, of all people, have had some common sense? He just signs Trooper. off on a piece of paper he can't read because it's in Spanish? Why didn't they get it translated? There's translators all throughout the court system. We all know that. Here's the judge's excuse. Listen to your honor. You've got lawyers, your officer of the court, telling you, Here's the, here's the order, here's my client swearing to you that something's going to happen to the child. You have to understand, in this case, these people were making allegations, they were swearing to me. Yeah, making allegations and swearing. You know, people lie. What mm -hmm. did these two attorneys for this father know? We reached out to them and they say they did nothing wrong. We also called the judge and got a big no comment. Um, I think, absolutely, Curtis what there has to be an investigation into what went down. You know, it'd be interesting uh, to know how smooth uh, this father was, particularly when talking to the cops, when they went Curtis, on to I'll the bus. I'll tell you how smooth he was. You know what happened here? Unusual. An ex-party, that means only one side, an ex-party emergency hearing where it, that can only be life-threatening to the child. Evidence has to be produced to change custody. That didn't happen. But I want to bring, I wanna bring Yami in. Yami. I think there needs to be an investigation into everything that happened in court. I think they need to look at the judge, how he made the decision, why they didn't call a translator. I mean, it's Texas. I they need to look into every case just please, this Lord, you just that this judge looked well, everything that this judge had seen in, at his court, every case that came forward to him, because something's not right here. I'm so upset I can't even get the words out. Oops. And I lost. Time, there are translators there everywhere. They mm -hmm. actually take this guy's word for it. And it turns out it's an arrest warrant for Mexico. They never get a translator to look at the documents. Why? This guy's a millionaire. He has a lot of money. He's coming in with two high-powered attorneys. He is from France, as they say. Well, what the attorneys told me that first day when I called them, that Monday or Tuesday morning, they said this father didn't need to do this. He had custody in Mexico. He could have called the police and picked them up. Instead, we thought he was on the up and up because he came to attorneys and wanted to do this the right way. That's he what kidnapped the, the guy. He kidnapped this kid once before and took him to France. Uh, Liz, New York, your question or thought? I don't, I, I, I can't even, I can't even explain how I feel about this. The child was screaming. The police should have at least took him to the station and called the mother or, or talked to them and gone back and figured out what was going on. I, I don't understand how they could just They wouldn't even over. listen to the mother who's on the scene. Yeah, they wouldn't listen to the mother. And it's interesting because, you know, she has a Spanish accent. And I'm wondering if uh, there was any prejudice that may have played a role in this. I mean, she's a very educated woman. She speaks beautifully, but she has an accent, as so many people in America do. It is a nation of immigrants. Yami, do you think that uh, there may have been... I, I want to be. I want to. I want to be fair. I want to be fair. This is San Antonio. We deal with Hispanic culture here every day, every single day, and I. I don't have that feeling here. I think the feeling here is that the constables had an order. Normally, the order would have said, "Bring the child to me. Take the child to a safe place." This was different. And the constable makes sure that he wants everybody to know that this one was different. So the question should go back to Judge Kassab. Why? Or the lawyers. Well, I think that the constable has some responsibility, Jane, as well as the judge, because our court systems are charged to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Children cannot protect themselves. And in this situation... Let me tell you something. We're dealing with a millionaire. Horrible. I think yes. there should be an investigation. 
Yeah, know what I, I mean? Agree with Follow you. the money. Stay right where you are. We're all over this case. And the international manhunt the